Okay, so we're going to practice uh, what I call the observer and uh, okay, so I coined this tool, I mean this is, I mean I, I just call it the observer, but it's being in the uh, being in the witnessing state. Okay, so everything, uh, so it's basically anything that is, so one way to sort of see it is like if you go to, a, if, you go and, if you go and see a film in the cinema hall, like you've got all these characters <coughs> and they're passing by uh, and uh, well, we can say, but let, let's pretend there's a horror film one, you know, like a werewolf in London or something like that. You know? So there's a werewolf on the screen and then you see the, you know, there's a werewolf and it's at the tube station and the werewolf's chasing the woman screaming down on the platform. So you're watching the movie. That's on the screen. You see, that's on the screen. So that would be the, that would be the form that is being observed. Now, there's actually, and let's say there's one person sitting in the audience watching the film, The Werewolf of London. So that person is the observer watching the film. Now, if the observer identifies or gets hooked into the movie, or becomes interested in the movie, then it's like there is no, it becomes like the observer gets sucked into the movie and becomes the, one of the people in the character. It's like there's no distance, you know, it actually it's like the movie's real. As soon as there's interest or identification or hooking in to the story of the movie, then it's like, it's not like an observer watching the movie, the person actually is in the movie, okay? So then that would mean that there would be no observer. It's like one is in the movie, one is in the dream. One is lost in the story. Now to, to be in the observer then, one would have to um, let go of all identification, all hooks, uh, let go of all meaning and projections of specialness of what's happening on the screen of the movie and then one would be the detached observer, the non-attached observer. And in fact, whatever happens on the movie, it would have no hooking power. You know, even if, if suddenly there's 20 werewolves, it would make no difference. You see, it still would be, there would be nothing that would hook you in to that screen. In fact, there would be like a, a distance. You know, it would be actually very, very clear that actually the movie is not real. It's just a movie. It's, it's an illusion. Actually, it's not even interesting. Now, if the observer had no interest, zero hooking, was totally not trying to even notice what's in the movie, the movie would disappear. There would just be pure peace and observation. You see, it would even there wouldn't even be the noticing that there's ten werewolves chasing a woman on the platform. Even that would start to disappear. And there would just be pure stillness uh, and pure, a pure space would start to uh, be experienced. Now, if the observer suddenly became very interested or hooked in or became very identified or thought that werewolves were very meaningful, then they could get sucked into the movie. Yeah, you see, and then suddenly the observer or the distance would disappear, you see. So that's like a metaphor for what is observing. Now actually, there is always that which is here. That which is here, which observes, <coughs> can only experience limitation if it hooks into something which is limited and which is passing. So actually, there is something here which is unmoving, which is always here, which is always still, and which does not get hooked into the world of the changing and the limited and the passing. And there is an observer here which doesn't even uh, notice or get, uh, get significantly affected or affected at all by anything in the, in the transitory changing passing world. There's still this 
it's like this observation is unaffected by the world of change, by the world of the transitory. And when I talk about things which are transitory and passing, what are transitory and passing things which are observed, or observed with detachment? The things which are observed with detachment, like a thought, is just a transitory passing cloud. You know, an image is just a passing transitory cloud. Even if suddenly a wave of fear arose right now, that would also be a transitory passing cloud before the observer. So these are all like passing objects, passing clouds. But if the observer doesn't hook into any type of thought, any type of feeling, any type of image that are passing, and then actually none of these things have the power to, to affect the observer. The observer is, is unaffected by anything that passes before it. But the moment there is identification or interest, or there's a hooking into, or any, any cloud is made special, then the observer's state will be lost. Because there's now a, like a relationship. You know, there's now something special uh, that, that's hooking in. But if there is anything, so now see if one can be in the observing state. So the observing state is like a watcher. It's like a witnessing that's here right now. And it doesn't, you know, the pure observer doesn't get hooked into any passing cloud. So even if there's clouds here, it, the observer is unaffected. But if you become hooked into a cloud, then ask the question, it's not even a question, but can, see if you can be that which is observing the cloud without attachment and unhook from that cloud and be the observer. So the observer is here, it's like, it's very intimate. And if you unhook from all the clouds, it's always here. So let's spend, um, okay, so I'll just put the camera off.